Welcome to the installation video of the U.S. Motors EZ16 aftermarket replacement motor. This motor was specifically designed to replace the 16-pin electronically commutated motor or ECMs. These motors can be identified by a very specific 16-pin rectangular connector plug as pictured. When counting the number of pins, remember we are counting the low voltage connections only. The Rescue EZ16 motor may look different from the motor you are replacing. However, properly installed, the motor will fit in the blower housing and function as required. Please note, this motor will not replace ECM 2.5 or with any system with less than six leads. Now verify the accessory bag has the following items. Installation manual, EZ16 motor, EZ interface module, also known as the EZI, double-sided tape, four pin to four pin wiring harness, optional high voltage connector, optional voltage change jumper, and optional pin 12 auxiliary wire. To start installation, turn power to the system off. Locate and verify the connector is a 16 pin wiring harness from the motor. Disconnect the 16 pin wiring harness and connect it to the ECI box to ensure proper fit. Disconnect and set aside. Remove blower housing from equipment. Now remove original ECM motor. After inspecting the OEM mounting bracket for damage, install the EZ16 motor into the mounting bracket. The belly band can be positioned anywhere on the motor shell, not on the motor control. The preferred position is at the midpoint between the motor vents. When mounting the motor and control into the belly band, ensure the drip slot is in position at or near six o'clock. This will allow any condensation that builds up in the motor to drain. Reinstall the motor with the bracket into the blower housing. Align the blower wheel so that it's properly centered in the blower housing and ensure the set screw is aligned with the flat on the motor shaft. Connect high voltage five pin connector from the original motor to the new motor. If the system is wired for 120 volt, confirm that the jumper wire is installed between positions one and two on the power connector. Without the jumper wire installed, the motor will not start. Connect the four pin to four pin wiring harness from the EZI to the new motor. Now determine the number of pins used by the HVAC system 16 pin connector. If all 16 pins are present, connect the wiring harness from the control board to the EZI interface box. If pin 12 is missing, you will need to use the optional pin 12 auxiliary wire provided with the motor. Simply press the pin end into the wiring harness going to the EZI box and attach the other end to the R terminal on the control board where the thermostat inputs are located. This pin needs to be installed to power the EZI box. Reinstall blower assembly into the original equipment. Set up EZI communications. On the side of the EZI box, switch to 24 volt signal controls. Now set the direction of rotation and horsepower to match the original motor. Keep in mind you can run a higher horsepower motor on a lower setting on the horsepower dial but you cannot run a lower horsepower motor on a higher setting on the horsepower dial. Next, set the cooling Y1 and Y2 and heating W1, W2 to the nominal position on the EZI. Power the system on and observe the LED activity on the EZI to determine proper connection. The PW, RX, and XT LED should blink intermittently. This activity represents communication taking place between the motor and the EZI box. There is no correlation between LED activity, airflow, or horsepower. With the system power still on, adjust the thermostat to ensure there is a call for heat or cool. Remember to give the system time for any startup delays. Now repeat this process for the other setting. Fine tune the speed for both heating and cooling modes by verifying the CFM and temperature deltas meet the original OEM's requirements. Adjustments can be made by using the EZI box, using the Y1 and Y2 dial for cooling mode, and W1, W2 for heating mode. Finally, mount the EZI box. The box can be mounted with double side tape provided or screws to the inside of the cabinet. Make sure to pick a location that's easily accessible to make any airflow adjustments which may be required in the future. Thank you for taking the time to view the U.S. Motors Rescue EZ16 installation video. If you need additional support, contact our technical support team at 
1-800-285-5540, or you can email them at hvacrtechservices at nedec-motor.com. Be sure to check out our other ECM aftermarket products, Rescue EZ13, Rescue Select Pro with integrated Bluetooth technology, Rescue Ecotech PSC to ECM drop-in replacement upgrade.